Tornadoes are the most beautiful thing you've ever seen from a distance, but they also have this dark side. And I saw that dark side first on May 3rd, 1999. The metro here on the is possibly as far north as South 89th Street. The tornado is located right here. You can hear the tornado from 89th Street. You can hear the roar. There is a tremendous amount of debris in the air. Folks, we plead with you, just go go to your safe spot if Mike, you possibly we, we can. That is, that's an F, look at the, look that, at the horizontal vortex. That is an F4 to an F5 tornado. That's that was one of the first tornadoes that I chased. And when I saw it, I was never afraid of it. It was coming at me, it was almost mesmerized. And um, as it got closer, you see the debris flying around, these large chunks of debris. And then it sets in that you know that lives are potentially being lost. And we came into more, and I saw that dark side that these tornadoes leave behind right away. And it was almost this extreme motivational feeling. And that's also what working with Channel 4 uh, I'm so excited about is because I want to help out the best I can and I think we can save lives working together. Hey guys. Hey. How's it going? Yeah, <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> How's it going? Hey, good to see you. Sean. Hey man, how's it going? Good to see ya. You too, man. She's in the, in the driveway, the Eagles landed. Yeah, Eagles landed. Feels good to be back in Oklahoma. <laughs> I gotta check this thing out. <laughs> oh my good God. What do you figure? Whoa. Quite the beast, eh? Right on. Oh my God. You gotta be kidding me. Watch your head in the doors here. Did he open it like this? Yeah, straight up. Holy cow. Bigger is better. Having <laughs> an animal. Yeah, I got a little carried away with this one, I think. <laughs> that was great, Thank you. This is amazing. I was about two weeks into it when wow. I said, wow, Dang, Reed's going to be jealous of this one. <laughs> He's not going to want to be in uh, Dom look, 2 anymore. That was, uh, Dom 1 looks like a Yugo now compared know, to the same. That is crazy. It's like a spacecraft. Oh, here it comes Dominator 2. No way. <laughs> this is a proud moment for me right here. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta say. There's all three doms. Seeing all three of them together. Oh, doing? There's a Dominator outbreak. Spikes back up. There we go. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. The pictures don't do it justice. I wonder what the neighbors think of this. Wow. All right, going up. It's a little more sophisticated. I imagine they're going to start coming out of the woodwork pretty soon. We'll probably have a nice ladder on the door when we get home later on this afternoon. Yeah, uh, Dominator 3 just arrived. And coincidentally, Dominator 2 right behind it. This is the first time we've had all three Dominators together. Uh, that's Dominator 3, and that thing's a beast. I'm speechless. Honestly, uh, I want to chase that thing. It's amazing seeing the progression too from Dominator 1 to Dominator 2 to Dominator 3. You can tell Kevin is definitely getting good at this. Uh, their team is amazing. He built this in three months. Uh, looks like a stealth bomber, Batmobile, exactly uh, like uh, Sean and I were uh, envisioning. 
And look at, look at how little it makes Dominator 2 and Dominator 1 look. But Dominator 1's been in the most tornadoes. Actually, Dominator 1's the only one that's been in a strong tornado. So we gotta get Dominator 2. We'll test the limits of that this season. And I think this thing can handle uh, an F4 or an F5 tornado, as long as there's not a huge amount of debris. But if you pop those windows open when you're going down the road, I mean, the thing's gonna fly. It floats too. Just kidding, <laughs> just kidding. You're gonna see a do you're gonna see a dominator outbreak like you've never seen before. Yeah, I'd say I would say I would consider this a homeowners association violation. <laughs> this is gonna be amazing, man. You gotta be kidding me. Wow, you just pop right through that hatch. Let me try this. That's where you pop out with a bazooka, right? Yeah, exactly. If you guys on purpose were out in the same shirt, no. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I'm <laughs> so this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Are you jealous? Would you, you rather drive Dominator 2 or this thing? Dominator 3. I'm a little jealous, honestly. Yeah, I'm a little jealous. I'm afraid I might have to, uh, might have to upgrade. Uh, if you want a man Dominator 2, I think I'm gonna be riding a Dominator 3. <laughs> We've got all three in the uh, driveway at the same time. It looks like that right there is a homeowner association president. president. Uh, we are under surveillance. See right, there, right over there, the two uh, soccer moms. HOA violation. Oh, they didn't wave at you. <laughs> they, did, they didn't wave. <laughs> they didn't wave at me. Did you see that? <laughs> Don't worry, it won't be here overnight. It'll be out overnight. Is that the Homeowners Association yeah. spies? Yeah. They're, they're spying on you? Look at, they're all no, they're talking. They're not. They're jogging. jogging. I guarantee you they're on the phone right now. So. You guys ready to surge north? <laughs> We're in the DeLorean. Look at the dominators behind us, too. <laughs> It's been an incredible five years, hasn't it, Reed? Yes. I still, I still have, you know, like a whole lots of uh, ambition for Dominator Two yet, because I don't feel like I ever really got a chance to finish it. Yeah. So about to head to Channel Four right now uh, with all three Dominators. Uh, the full fleet is together uh, for the first time. It's a very special moment. Uh, I know it's a very special moment for Kevin. Very special for Sean. Everybody in the TBN team. Feels good. Thank you. <laughs> Dominator. We're gonna dominate four. the storm. <laughs> I like the Dominator Four idea, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It took a step up. Thank you. I and I think you know Mike Morgan yep. somehow. Mike somewhere. Morgan. Well, I. Joel's still around. Oh, I'm still around. Yeah. Well, I've seen him you know, in, the, in the show. So. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's still, he's like 260 pounds now. Like, he took 2012 off and just started pumping iron, and that's it. He's, I mean, bigger than the, the belldozer. Wow. <laughs> serious first. Ready? All right, and in three, two, one, look at the camera. Reed and I are really the same vein. Uh, I chased, started chasing in Oklahoma at the age of 10. Uh, the date was June 8, 1974. It was a major outbreak. If Reed were here, he would have been chasing it for sure. But chasing in Oklahoma is the most violent of the violent. And that's why I'm here and that's why Reed is here. And we think this is a match made in heaven for awesome and informative and accurate severe weather coverage. Hi, I'm Reed Timmer, proud new member of the Forewarn Storm Team. <laughs> So you guys looked at the new models at all? Like, does it look, uh, I haven't looked this morning. Monday looks big, right? Still? Or is it slowed down? Dude, look down. I'll count you down. Three, two, one. Smiling one first. Okay, so three, two, one. Look up. <laughs> okay, turn, turn a little more to the camera. Okay. Like that? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's happening. I last about like three takes and that's it. Dominate the storm. 
Let's do that one one more time. Serious look. Everybody looks down. And in three, two, one. Everybody looks up. Hold it. And we're good. Is that it? That is it for all y'all. I guess you That's got to go. Yeah. Yeah. You're off this afternoon, right? Be safe. Cool. Thanks. 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 Are you ready? Yeah, I think so. Ready to rock and roll? Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely ready to rock and roll. Yeah. 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 HD here. all the way. Yeah. It'll look great. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank lift you. Off. <laughs> Prepare for liftoff. Not the Dominator, figuratively. <laughs> Get about 140 mile an hour wrap around. Mayor's Cage in the hook. No, it's actually Chopper 4. Uh, our new team, the new family, uh, KFOR. Uh, they're the leader in severe weather coverage, uh, the Oklahoma City area. And Oklahoma City is a one of a kind uh, market uh, for news affiliates. Uh, weather is everything here. And um, it's actually one of the leading uh, affiliates in the whole entire NBC market. And um, there's, there's no market like it in the world. Like all three competing stations have helicopters that uh, shoot the tornadoes from the air and stream them live. All three have tricked out vehicles, uh, but not all three have the Dominators. Channel 4 has the Dominators. Channel 4 Storm Team right there. How cool is this? <laughs> wow. It's a new team. <laughs> wow. I heard the chopper's gonna come in and nose down, so I wanna get down low enough and see if I can get a good shot of it above the three doms. So I'm in my uh, position. You gotta take advantage of as many shots as you can when you have everybody together in one spot like this. There is Bob Moore Chopper 4 right there. Great big wall cloud. We should be in full chase mode here shortly. We've definitely launched officially with Camp Live and social networking and trying to rally Oklahomans around uh, Channel 4 coverage because we're gonna cover these storms like, like no one else can. You know, today's more about the warning process than anything else because uh, storms are moving into a populated area. So uh, it's, I don't know. I'm on the fence. I'm not sure how I feel. I'm excited, but scared. The uh, storm's not that far away. The atmosphere is prime. Uh, you know, it's just about us getting to the storm right now. We got to get there first, too, because, I mean, you know, we're in competition with the other news networks now. Yeah. I mean, we got to get there first. I'm getting there at exactly the speed limit, Reed. Rapidly rising scud, Reed. Yeah. All right. You go on air. So I, can call, I can't call them on my phone. You want to call, call them with yours? Yeah. Or should I wait till we have one on the ground? Just make sure you're like. Wait till it's a good upward motion wall cloud. Yeah, good tornado good motion. Internet. Look at this area right there. That's where it's going to happen. Look at that. Right to left and left to right. That's it. Upward if motion. That, if upward that's motion. Come to the ground, I'm going to need your phone here. That's really trying there, southwest trying right of us. right there in the center. All right, uh, half mile, then we can try to intercept that. See that stagnant area, Scud? You want me to call him right now? Oh, look at that upward motion on the north side yeah. of it. All right, should I call it, Joel? We're calling. It looks like there's a great big funnel cloud right here. John, though, joins us live. Reed Timber with Dominator 4s on the ground. When John cut, that's, that's Reed's right there. That's Reed Timmer. Yeah, we have a new wall cloud to our north. Rapid rotation, very low to the ground. Uh, we're going to turn to the left here in about a quarter mile. Uh, so you'll see it here in a second. It's off to our northwest behind us. We're turning left on this road. All right, point at it for a second, Joel. Yeah, we could intercept. There it is. You got it? Go, keep going. A little more. A little more to the left. There it is. That's going to produce rapid rotation. Okay. 
back up, and then I gotta go. Oh. Due north! That's... Watch for ground circulation. Is that a Joel, call, Joel? Joel, look! Joel! 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 What? Please! Uh, he's okay. I'm, I'm watching he's it. it. <laughs> yeah, right now we've got a funnel that's forming off to our left. Uh, it should barely, you, it should come into view here in a second. We're watching for ground circulation. Uh, definite funnel forming. We're right. watching for ground circulation. We're underneath the wall pond. It should be crossing this road right in front of us. We might even intercept. He, we, Reed just said he might even intercept. You know, he's in these armor-plated vehicles, and uh, he's considering possible intercept uh, with this developing tornado because he's very, very close to it. Gotta stop here. Before the trees, Joel. It's about to touch down right here. Yeah, before the trees. Point that way. It's right here. Oh, yeah. Tapping just west of us. It's going to... Violent bolts. motion. Violent motion right to our left. Can you see this, Reed? Yes. Point at it. Oh my gosh, we're about to intercept. There it is. Joel, you got to point left. I can't without blocking the whole road, Reed. Right, and we don't have Try to, to find to a place that. to pull in. You can't, they can't see anything. It's going to be above the right. camera view anyway. It's going to happen right here. Do you want to intercept? Yeah, right here. Right here. 10 Look seconds it. and it's down. 10 seconds. We're going to have a tornado, guys. It's going to pass just north of us here. Get ready to roll the Lexan up in the window. Hey, how do you roll the Lexan up? It's coming right at us. Yeah, it's coming down right here. It's coming down right on top of us, guys. How do you roll the Lexan up? That one. I'm getting in the car. Okay. It's right. It's it's. It's straight over. It's gonna spin up on us right now. Here, it's it's gonna it's gonna spin up right here, buddy. It's surprisingly calm. How are there not vortices on the ground? Yes, uh, we are directly underneath the circulation. It's, this is gonna be a tornado on the ground any second, directly above us. It's now moving just to our south. It's gonna, it's, uh, it's wrapping up. You see ground circulation, Mike? No. Still have southeasterlies. Dude, it's southeasterlies. Oh, it's still coming down right here. Hey, we gotta get out of the road. Let's go, we gotta, let's keep up with it. Fast. Fast. Yeah, this is the radar. It's got a textbook hook echo on it. Headed straight toward the lot in Oklahoma area. Uh, it's got a massive hook echo. Uh, that's where the large tornado would be. That's the main circulation. Then you get these little eddies that will rotate up the RFT gust front, and then they get pulled underneath the mesocyclone. It's the only storm that has a chance right now. Is there nothing else out there? No. So, we'll get it. It should be just left of the road. Look at that. Right edge. Either way, we got Look at the occlusion right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a big tornado. Like, we got to point that way, though. That's what I'm talking about. It's gonna make us wait till dark. Ah, uh, it's beautiful. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at that. Got a developing wall cloud, potentially a tornado right here in front of us. We've been waiting all day. Uh, thought it was gonna happen earlier. Sun's probably already set. We just got maybe five to 10 more minutes of ambient light where we can still make it out. So, um, you know, if this storm will hurry and produce a tornado, uh, I mean, we'll have it right here to our west. Tornado coming down. Oh, that can be a funnel. Look at that. It's going over the road. It's crossing the road east of us. We're getting 48 mile an hour gusts from the north there. There's a clear slot right here too. Got it, Joel, it's just to the right of the road. Stop. Is there something on the ground? I think so. Right off here to the right, look. Yeah, cause it's the street, why is the stream, uh, okay. why is the stream black? Yeah. Cause it's night. Uh, right in front of us, it's a massive tornado. Go, Joel. Keep going, Joel. I got it. You got plenty of space. Well, we want to keep it. Uh, we got plenty of space, Joel. I know, but we want to keep it where it's on that side because lightning's one. You can keep going. We aren't driving up under that thing. We're not even close to it. Yeah, we are. It's right there. No, it isn't. I can see the edge. I can see the back edge. I can see the we got to go. Edge. We're getting hooked. I can see the left edge right here. Because it's nice and 
Oh, there it was. I just saw it in the stream. Uh, yes, yeah, still on the ground uh, northeast of us moving, probably between Grandfield and Loveland. Uh, passed just west of the airport, about two miles on 70. Uh, probably eighth of a mile wide minimum. Uh, large cone tornado. It was amazing. That was the best tornado I've ever seen. No, I, I think I, I guarantee there was ground circulation with it, but I yeah. never saw it fully condensed. It was like a... Yeah. Uh, we had wind gusts, you know, 80, 90 miles an hour. We we're just west of it. And I could see it like up here, but I never, there's never like a good lightning flash. You can see it all the way to the ground or not. Oh, hey there. Get some hail. Yeah, we're getting hammered by the hook right now. So I've lost visual to the east. But yeah, it was a strong, it was a strong tornado. Thankfully, uh, Grandfield dodged a bullet. Oh no, we were on. Hey, I think we streamed it. Good job driving today, Joel. Thanks. First tornado of the year. That's your first in uh, over a year, right? I'm sure I'm not counting it. What? Uh, I mean, if I don't, I want a nice, you know, solid daytime. Good memories. All we needed was 15 more minutes of daylight. Yeah. Is this Norman? You know, we're getting the rust off, uh, we're getting our research equipment dialed in, and the thing with the Dominator is if something malfunctions and we're intercepting a tornado, uh, that could mean the difference between us trying to record groundbreaking data and becoming victims of that tornado, which is the last thing we want to have happen. This nighttime supercell has gotten our team dialed in across the board and uh, we're ready to execute now that the big outbreaks are coming. Well, as soon as uh, Beautiful gets out of bed this morning, well, I'd like to meet him for the first time. Are you serious? Hey, there's always issues, there's always something coming up. Who's going to get more excited when we see the tornado, Reed or me?